Greg, first of all, a convincing win for the new Saints on opening day. Uh, yeah, very convincing. Um, just what we needed. Uh, last year got off to the worst possible start this year. Got off to the best possible start. So everyone's very happy in there. Uh, disappointing with the way we conceded the goal. Never set peace, but you know uh, they obviously worked that one well. Back post is always hard to defend, so it's all we need to try and work on. Um, but going the other way, it's obviously nice to score five goals. And as far as you're concerned personally, it must be frustrating to be out of the side. Yeah, very frustrating. Um, you know, obviously, not been the start to the season that I would have liked, but there's a lot of competition now, so it was important when I got on that I uh, took my chance. So, obviously, got two, had, had two chances, sorry, scored two goals, so uh, couldn't have done much more than that. Indeed, you certainly did take your chance. I guess that gives the manager a, a managerial headache come the next game. Uh, yeah, like I say, we got you know three of us now, me, Curtis, and Dean. So you know, I think most weeks he's got a bit of a headache. Uh, just important that we all keep training properly um, and putting as much competition, as much pressure on each other as we can. And looking ahead to the season, it's a strong squad, as you've already alluded to here at Park Hall. Yeah, yeah. Um, obviously got uh, covering every position now. You can just see in the last few weeks. Obviously, Kane's come in and placed Simon Spender, who's probably been the best right back in the league for a long time now so that just shows the sort of level of competition we got now um, obviously Spencer's back in the team now and he had a very good game so it's important when you do get back in the team that you, know, you perform to your best and stay in the team and we're off to Denmark in a few days time next Thursday the second leg 2-0 down is it still on? yeah definitely uh, you, you just got to look at the Macedonia game where we have 5-0 down uh, come very close to turning it around obviously he scored you know, fourth very late, maybe if that had come a bit earlier we could have done it, but um, obviously it's going to be a bit more difficult, we were really away team this time, but you never know, if you get an early goal they'll start to panic and uh, you know, anything can happen. And the games do come thick and fast, especially when you're still involved in Europe, and this time next week we will be playing Connors Key Nomads as well, early in the season, but that's a, 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 a tough game. Yeah, a tough game, uh, away as well, um, obviously this time of year the pitch should be quite nice. Uh, but yeah, with the travelling and everything, it's, uh, it's been difficult, the lads are very tired. Um, sort of travel Tuesday, train Wednesday, match Thursday, travel back Friday, then we'll train again on Saturday and the game on Sunday. So the lads are going to be very tired, but if we can get out of this period with maximum points, then uh, we've done really well. Well, Greg, thank you for your time as always, and congratulations on the two goals. Thank you. Cheers.